Jason, thank you. New information in the long legal battle for transgender rights in North Carolina bathrooms. Today, a federal judge approving a settlement that will allow transgender people to use bathrooms that match their identity, gender identity that is. It comes after years of debate on the so-called bathroom bill and the law that replaced it. NBC Charlotte's Alex Shabbat, he's live for us with this story at six. So Alex, this will not change the rules though for private businesses, is that correct? That's right, Bill. This is not for all bathrooms, just those that are in public buildings, but it will change who's allowed inside. A legal settlement is opening new doors in North Carolina. It would allow transgender people to use restrooms matching their gender identity in many public buildings. It comes after a long legal battle involving the so-called bathroom bill, HB2, and the law that replaced it. House Speaker Tim Moore previously called the replacement a measured approach. We've dealt with the local non-discrimination ordinance issue. You know, cities are going to be out of that business uh, for at least four years. But the lawsuit claimed the replacement bill prevents local officials from passing laws to protect LGBT rights. Governor Cooper, who signed the new measure into law, had asked Democrats to support it. Some did, but it was clearly a tough decision. But we need to look at ourselves as a people. And when we come back here on Monday, I hope it's a new day. NC Values is a conservative organization that supported HB2. In a statement, NC Values previously said, no basketball game, corporation, or entertainment event is worth even one little girl losing her privacy and dignity to a boy in the locker room or being harmed or frightened in the bathroom. The new legal agreement is between the plaintiffs and North Carolina's Governor Cooper. It says nothing in state law can be interpreted to prevent transgender people from lawfully using public facilities in accordance with their gender identity in buildings controlled by the state's executive branch. In return, the plaintiffs have agreed to drop pending legal action against the governor and other defendants. One other important note, Republican legislative leaders in North Carolina had opposed this agreement. Live in Charlotte, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte.